everyone! In this quick video I'm going to show you how to use the iJack app to put together your background and your animated GIF to turn it into an augmented reality finished product. So first of all you need to open up the iJack app so you should have that installed already on your device so type in iJack it should open up here and then launch it. The first thing you will need to do is sign up so once it's open the first thing you need to do is create an account so you'll need to put your username in there, um, email address and password. If you are um, doing this in school, um, you should use your school email address. Um, but always ask your teacher first on what they advise you to do. But you must create an account first. Once you've got an account, you can then sign in. So I've created a couple of little um, artworks before, just having a little practice and a little play with them. But one, if you're doing this for the first time, it's as easy as one, two, three. You just simply click on this big plus symbol to create a new artwork. So I'm going to click on this little plus symbol here, which will take me to the open dialog box. I'm going to find my background image, which is the parrot background for me. And so you need to find your background image. You then click next. The next step is to add your animation. So you click on the plus symbol again, and I'm going to find my animation. So my animated GIF that I created it here somewhere. There it is, my parrot GIF. So you add that, give it a few seconds. Um, you can add sound. So if your project involves sound, you can add some sound by clicking on the sound. Then I'm gonna press create. Takes a few seconds. Now, at this point, you're going to need to learn how to use, use the screenshot tool, okay? Because that is the QR code that you need to put um, on your artwork or nearby your artwork for people to scan with their phone so that they can see it. So I'm going to click on uh, Snip. Um, I have the Snipping Tool app installed on mine, but there's lots of ways that you can screenshot. And I'm going to screenshot this uh, QR code and I'm going to copy that and I've now got that copied. I'm going to put that onto my artwork. Okay, so I've just pressed Control and V to paste my QR code. And there it is there. I'm going to put that up there right in the corner so it's out the way. Now that is on my background. Okay, the background to my, um, my augmented reality. You don't have to have it on, on your background. You don't have to have it on but it must be nearby. So wherever you're going to put your finished augmented reality artwork, you need to have your little QR code nearby. I've put it on the actual artwork itself, but that could detract from your amazing artwork. So it doesn't have to be on there, but it must be nearby. So if you're going to stick it on a, say, a Word document, you have your artwork and then you have your QR code on the same page. It's got to be nearby, okay? I can then finally export that as a JPEG again. That then has my finished artwork and my QR code on it. I might even call that finished just so I know that it's a, I've got so many different versions of this artwork. Uh, finished with QR code. Okay, press save. I can now print that off. Okay, so I can print this off and I can stick it to a wall and anyone passing by can get, get out their phone get their camera open and scan that QR code and it will open up my augmented reality, my animated GIF that goes along with it. And if I just show you what my animated GIF is, that will open up along with it. And um, for any of you who've not watched the first two videos, here's my parrot GIF. So my augmented reality to anybody who opens up their phone and scans that QR code, this will start to play for them. Okay. Okay, everybody have fun.